It's a still, small voice. And if you're not listening very carefully, you will miss it. Because that's the enemy's goal, to keep you from hearing what he said. He said, my sheep. That's why he said, the little Nepeuses, the babes, have a difficult time understanding him. But my sheep know my voice. And the voice of a stranger, they will not follow. Even if you don't know, you know, and you're not there, act like you're there. The devil don't know better. He doesn't know any better. He thinks, oh, man, that's a champion. Oh, yeah, I'll be a champion. And they got the third grade. I'm a champion. <laughs> Amen. We're working with God. Tell you neighbor, we're working with God. Amen. You got to block out some time. Now, don't take no time from your family. Don't take no time from your job. No, 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 no. No. You take time from yourself. You got a lot of time that's being wasted, and you just have to check where it is so you can make the adjustments you need and give, give God some what? Time. It's not always reading your Bible. It's not always praying. It's not always singing. There are times you need to just shut up and look up. Now, I didn't call your name, did I? No, I didn't do that. But there's, there are times you need to shut up. Now, now I'm telling you, on the inside, you're going to hear everything. You know you ain't washed them dishes. You know you're going to be late for this. You know you got to do this. You, and see, he has to get us off course so he can stop the blessing of God that God has already come in our way. What does the scripture say? Be still and know that I am God. In other words, I'm about to do something mightily in your life. I'm about to turn your situation around and let you see my goodness. <laughs> what you're going to see? God's goodness. Amen. Amen. And you get to laugh everywhere you go. Just smile. What, what, what did you have for breakfast this morning? It ain't what I have, it's who I am. <laughs> I'm not just a child of God. I'm his favorite. <laughs> hey, man, let me say it. I'm his favorite. Now, y'all know how to be his country's pastor. You know, you say I'm his favorite. You know how y'all talk. I sometimes just have to get a little loose. <laughs> kind of help myself out. <laughs> you just got to help yourself out. Come on, come on. Say so you got to kind of help yourself out. All right, all right. So we got to get it. The most powerful thing any human being can do is what? Pray. And you know, oh, Lord. No, mm. no, no, no. Uh -uh. That's the devil taking advantage of you. Now, you can do that if you want to, but you're going to prolong your blessing. Let's be straight up with him. God just needs you to talk in your native tongue. Amen. And now, you might, you might go off in the spirit or whatever, but he needs you to talk in your native tongue so you'll know what you're asking. And then right behind that, when you kind of feel like you're ready to talk in tongue, then you say something like that. But make sure you know we, 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 we're well aware of whose we are and what we are and what we have. Well aware. Well aware. Some of you looking down the road, all these bills you've got to pay, see, that's your problem. You have already blocked, pulled God out. You've already blocked him out. When you should just leave God in there. Leave him in the equation. Because when God gets in the equation, I'm telling you, stuff just disappears. Just disappears. On purpose. God is eliminated. He's the best eliminator there is. And he wants to do it for his people. Working hard for my money. No, you shouldn't be working hard. Working smart. What should you be doing? Working smart. That's what you should be doing. Because you got a helper. The Holy Spirit. He helps you. And whatever you're doing, you can't burn out. No, no, no. You get fired up. And you can do more and more and more. And folks, aren't you tired? Tired of what? <laughs> I ain't tired. Uh -uh. Just excited. Hey, I'm just excited. Man, it, this is why he hates marriage. The devil hates marriage. He hates it. And if you're married, he wants hell to be in that house. Always at each other's throat. 
You know, you're a good show when you come out in public. But when you go back to the house, well, you're another one. <laughs> he says, if any two of you on earth, you all do know we own the earth, <laughs> shall agree. That means as one. Whatever you ask is yours. It ain't a matter of time. You receive it right now. It's mine when? Now. When is it yours? That building you've been looking for? Now. That transportation? Now. That mate? Now I'm talking single folk nothing. Now. <laughs> Whatever it is. When? Now. Now, what happens is when you receive it, there's a peace that comes on you. That surpasses all what? Understanding. Why you've been looking mean, you try to, well, that ain't the one. That ain't the one neither. Now, when you get that peace on you, they'll recognize there's somebody that they hadn't seen before. No, oh, that much, Jesus. I mean, just let it soak a minute. Let it soak a minute. <laughs> Amen. He knows. He knows. God wants you to spend sufficient time with him that when your mate comes, you'll have time for them. Get on this side. God wants you to spend sufficient time with him that when your mate comes, you'll have time for them. I've got to read my Bible. That's it. No, 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 no. You don't disconnect with your mate. I'm talking about you read your Bible. No, you read your mate, then you can read your Bible. You take care of whatever their situation is, and then you can go on and have a good time. Lord Jesus, let me stay focused on this. But, but, but you, you, you got to get it. You got to get it. God is excited about his children receiving everything that he has promised and provided in this lifetime. Yes. Wait, when I go home, when I go to, go, get, get, get to heaven, I'm going to pour on my gold and shit. What? Get you some down there at the store. <laughs> Walk around with your golden shoes on. Lord, come on, let me get on back down here. But we tell you, we got a heaven. Look, come on, so we got a heaven. But it comes through what? Spending time with God. You got to block out a space for God. Please, now, here, Pastor, hear, hear me now. You, you have to do it. No, don't be made. You know, let that devil get in there and he throws you in the bed and you can't get up and you're sick and all this. All you can do is read. No, you're not giving that to God. You're stealing. What you need to do is find some time when you can get with God. It's good if you got a husband and wife that can work it like that. Reading the same passage of Scripture, reading to each other. Oh, Lord. Just reading. And, and John said, baby... Uh, <laughs> And darling, I tell you, when I was reading on that in Peter, <laughs> but you see, it's so much, so much division. So we're dealing with too many issues. You know, you've got to get to the point that you have some time for each other and not stealing from God. Amen. Lord, I mercy Jesus. <laughs> All right. God is waiting on you. Tell neighbor, God is waiting on you. Look at somebody that said, God is waiting on you. All right, Lord, you heard him, didn't you? God is still speaking. Can you hear him? God is still speaking. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? The only reason you can't hear him is because there's too much clutter. You got too much in your head. You're dealing with too much. You're dealing with the job. You're dealing with the family. You're dealing with ministry. You're dealing with, you know, just communities. You're dealing with this. You're dealing with that. But God can't get there. He can't get there. It's not because, you know, uh, the devil is holding back. It's because you are allowing this to happen. Who's allowing it? You are. The individual is what? Allowing it. There's some back in the day, but they just the old record. I got to steal away. <laughs> well, you ought to steal away. <laughs> steal a bird to be with the law. <laughs> be out there in the bushes somewhere reading. <laughs> Y'all, 
Look, y'all let me, let me, come on, please, please, work with Pastor. Go ahead. You, you. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she says, when I come down here, it, it's just a whole different situation when I'm up there. But, but, you know, I like being close to folk. I do. I, it's just my nature. I just, I, you know, I, I, I had those schools. I had two elementary schools, worked in junior high and senior high. And those little children would grab my legs, you know, when I'm going down the hall. Hey, Mr. Wee, Mr. Wee. And I just drag them on down <laughs> at Weddington and Lucy Webb. And I'm telling you, it was just a wonderful thing. I enjoyed it. I might have been a nut, but I really liked it. I loved being an administrator. I loved being an educator. I enjoyed it. And those children now, I'm telling you, when they see me, it's like they have seen the Lord. They don't, they don't worship me or nothing, but they want to hug you, you know, and just thank you for what you've done for them. Amen. I, most people, I'm tired of the job. I, I, I just didn't get tired. I loved it. And my wife and them had to hurry up and call me out. <laughs> you come on out of that school. I said, all right, baby, all right. All right I'm going to be eating regularly every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> You got to make it, make it, make it plain. So you got to make it plain. All right. Now, God said, who said this? God. If my people will humble themselves and what? Pray. And turn from their what? Wicked ways. I will hear from what? Heaven. If my people, now he's talking about Christian, men and women of what? God will humble themselves. Now, watch what he says. Will humble themselves and what? So praying is actually an act of humility. What is it? It's an act of humility because you're talking to your daddy. You're talking to your father. Amen. I know my, my girl, you know, them girls get around me more, I'm telling you. They get talking to daddy or uh, working with daddy. It's just, just easy to go down in your pockets then. It just ain't no problem at all. Uh-uh. Daddy, daddy. All right, all right now, all right. All right. It, it's, well, God is the same way. When we get to him like that, when we get to God, you know, God, God just, he, he can't hold back. He will impress, he will deal with somebody, wh whoever it is that got the wherewithal that you desire or that you require, he's going to deal with them to get to you because you're going to have to have whatever it is you were desiring because God has now gotten involved. Amen. Amen. He didn't do it. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. He's just trying to wait and clean up stuff so you can think straight. And you won't be empty of it tomorrow, and you just got it today. Because some people are spent through it. get hot in the hand. And, you know, they just, just can't handle it. They can't handle it. But God is putting us in a position where we'll be able to handle whatever he brings into our life that is good. He's waiting on you. Punch your neighbor said, God's waiting on you. He loves you. Tell somebody to say, he loves you too. ha, 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 ha. Amen, amen, amen. God is still speaking, and he says, My sheep know my voice, and the voice of a stranger, they will not what? Now, wait a minute now. Why did he say sheep? You know, when sheep is not the one just coming out the womb. No, it's a mature one. And we don't, we don't compare ourselves with nobody else. At your level, God can work with you and cause you to go beyond whatever you've been seeing. That's what he wants to do. You just spend some time with him. Now, don't steal none from your children. If you're married, don't steal none from your mate. And if you're living with your mama and she needs to talk with you, your daddy, don't steal. He doesn't take stolen goods. It has to be what you have that you can give to him willingly because you love him. Amen. Now, baby, don't y'all get out of here. No, 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 you just messed up. You ain't hearing from God. You're hearing from that other fellow because God knows. 
it doesn't take him all day to tell you or to bless you or to do whatever it is required in your life to get you from where you are to where he wants you to be. Amen. He, a peace will come up on you like you have never known before. He's just waiting on us to spend some time with him. Your place might not be like everybody. Some people might like out, outdoors, out of doors. Some people might like indoors. You know, some people might want to be in the automobile talking with him, wherever it is. Just don't turn the steering wheel we're to lose. <laughs> hey, don't turn the steering wheel to lose. Amen, amen. Hold on to the steering wheel. Amen. Do what? Hold on to the steering wheel. Now, refuse to trust yourself more than you do God. Refuse to trust yourself more than you do God. Some of you believe that, you know, God's just too slow. I said, some of y'all believe that God just too slow. Because when it doesn't happen, when you think it ought to happen, God was late. And he's never late. He's given you an opportunity for you to be able to grow up and mature and have more confidence in him than you do in yourself. Got to do it. And when you spend time with him, you change. You change. Your situation might not readily change, but you change. You're not the same person anymore. You can see clearly now. You can hear clearly now. Amen, amen. You can smile more now. I'm telling you, your life begins to what? Change. Transform. He doesn't want us down and out hustling, trying to make a dime. No, he doesn't want you on a dime. He wants you to put gold in your hand. Yeah. You won't be hollering, silver and gold have I none. You'll be saying, silver and gold I have. <laughs> what you have, not just silver, but silver and what? Gold. And both of them are valuable. He's just waiting on us. Your situation has already turned it around. You, it has already turned around, and you're still waiting on your situation to turn around. You're not rejoicing. You're not thankful. Now, I'm not putting you down, but if it's, it's you, you know you need to make an adjustment. Don't wait till I see it. No. Listen, that is not faith. While we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. That's what you have the capability of doing. And you got to make up your mind. If I don't see it, I know God has already done it for me. He has already worked it out for my good. He has already worked it out for my good. I'm telling you, he's not waiting. He, he's not a slow for God. He's our own time God. He just wants you to let him just say, hey, Lord. Whatever you want to do, here it is. Oh, Lord, I want to be so eloquent and so nice and so, you know, intellectual. <laughs> but you got to understand, God, listen, the enemy is just having a, a heyday on the church. Kicking them behind and knocking them down and counting them out. And got them at each other's throat, evil against evil and mad at one another. And listen, none of that is a characteristic of a Christian. <clears throat> the Bible says, be angry, but sin not. Be angry, but sin not. We got to get it. God's waiting on us. And us been waiting on God. I know they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now, New Testament. <laughs> As he is. <laughs> you got to get it. <clears throat> You're the smartest people, I'm telling you, in the earth. Just won't take advantage of your smartness. Amen. Silver and gold have I none. <clears throat> so you're already declaring it doesn't belong to you. Listen, it's ours. But you don't need none until you can handle it. If you can't handle it, you won't have it long. You won't. Hiding it and 
you know, and all this other stuff. No, no, no. You don't have to hide anything from God. You don't have to hide anything from people. You just have to be up front. Today ain't your day, brother. <laughs> no, sister. Today ain't your day neither. Mm -mm. I love you now, you know, but today ain't your day. Seven gold I do have, but it's not your day. <laughs> seven gold have I not? No, seven gold I have, but it's not your day. And, and, I mean, all the sweetness you got, smiling, you know. That's the way God wants us to do it. Because he might be working on those people, and you're trying to get ahead of God because God knows there's something that needs to be gotten right in their lives so he can bless them probably even greater than what you've been blessed. And you get in the way, and you block their blessing with a little something, and God wanted their cup to run over. Listen to y'all. And I get right out there, I don't know what he said, what he said. No, it ain't what I say, it's what the word of God said. He said his word will not return unto him void. If he said it, you ought to be able to stand on it. Amen. 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 Just stand on it. After having done all the stand, still stand. Stand what? On the word of God. That's what he wants us to do. We're too valuable. It's not time for us to go to be with the Lord. Got too much to do. You got to take up the assignment of some others who have already gone and had a, a dynamic assignment on their life. But somebody got to take up the slack. Do you have enough love in your heart to do that? I don't be weighted down. I, I, no, 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 no. To whom much is given, much is required. It's on you. It's on you. Say, David, it's on you. The wealth of God is on you. Say the wealth, 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 wealth. If I said poverty, you'd have got that real quick. <laughs> say wealth. It's on you. Come on, say it's on you. Amen, amen, amen. It's on you. It's on you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So what did God tell us to do? If we will humble ourselves and what? Pray and turn from our what? Wicked ways. What will happen? Get rid of the wickedness. Wicca, get rid of the wickedness. If you find yourself with some wickedness in you, eliminate it. Eliminate it. You can't take advantage of a child of God. You go and say, yo. See, you can't take advantage of a child of God. Uh-uh. Because God will give that person double for their trouble. All he wants you to do is just look about, I thank you and I praise you. Because you're my source. You're my helper. You just, I mean, you just got to tell him, I love you with all of my life. Every fiber of my being, I love you. Sometimes, you know, well, you know, I'm, well, it's me, but I know me. Sometimes I, I get talking to the Lord and I get tears be falling. I'm, I'm, I'm madly in love with God. And I'm not just boasting. Look, I'm just telling you the T R U E. Truth, or T R U T H, truth, whichever one of them you can deal with. I'm telling you, uh, I, I love God, and when the Spirit gets up on me, I, if it, it just, it just, I just weep. I just weep. I weep. And I ain't hurting or nothing. It, it just love. Just so much love. Amen. Like, like Gwen, and I get real close to her, you know, she, she just gets to weep. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. Boy, that, that girl, she, she loves herself some pastor. I mean, not, not pastor. Uh, baby. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, let's go, let's go right on now. Let's go right on. It is the truth. Turn, to, with, turn with me to uh, Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Hurry. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. <laughs> Y'all are something there. When you get that, say, I got it. Y'all ain't got it yet? One person got it. 
Zechariah chapter 4 and verse what? 6. Got it, got it, got it. Wait a minute now. I got Zephaniah. That's right. It was Zechariah <laughs> chapter 4, verse 6. And it says, you there? Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, you there? This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by what? But by my what? Well, who said that? Said the Lord. The Amplified said, Then he said to me, This addition of the bowl to the candlestick, causing it to yield, are you there? A ceaseless supply of oil from the olive tree is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, of whom the all is a symbol, says the Lord of what? Might. He said, it ain't what you do to get it. It's what God has already done. And all he wants you and me to do is to receive it and rejoice. Amen. Let somebody else partake of your blessing. You won't be stingy. You're open-handed, open-hearted. You're loving. You can't stand to see somebody else down and out. You want to pick them up because God has already, what, picked you up. And my time is up, and I thank you for your Get a lot of hand clap.